from it and it's like so infectious. There's a purity to it that is really exciting for us. Yeah. Um, to see, to witness firsthand and, you know, have fans at baggage claim like waiting to get Oh, in yeah. I've never, I've never autographs. experienced that before. So that was, I called my mom right away. <laughs> I got off my flight from Toronto and there were five or six people congregating next to where my driver was holding up the sign with my name and they wanted me to sign photos. It was like, it was amazing. It was, they, they have no idea. They made my day. Um, so that was great. But yeah, and also to be in the proximity of all these other great shows too. We feel honored to be in their company. Well, I I feel like we decided early on that there was some whimsy to Tessa, that she is a um, primary school teacher, that her clothes should be warm and inviting, and that they should have a sort of uh, intricate pattern. Like Tessa often wears shirts that have little frogs on them, or little ice cream cones. Little it's ice cream cones. Like established early on in conversations with Barbara, amazing. Barbara Somerville is a designer of the show. She's amazing. so talented. And and so we want yeah we wanted Tessa to have a, a brightness and a light a lightness and those wings of the prints felt like a really specific way to understand the personality in one in one look in one shirt in one garment. So I'm sure your daughter knows this too. I think dressing regular people is quite challenging because clothing is behavior, right? Cam's always it's got his yeah. yeah he's always got his hoodie long, his, long, like, long yeah, and his glasses and I think everybody looks like a real person whilst being very distinguished in their nature in the clothing. It's a fair question and one that we're exploring and figuring yeah. out, but it's very much TBD at this point. There's a few ways to go. One, when I originally pitched the show, the idea was that it was a seasonal anthology and every season would be a separate story. Right. Ideally with the same cast of the sort of American Horror Story model. Yeah, exactly. Um, which would be my dream. Um, because I love this company of actors. I love the ensemble, but I would love to also give them wildly different characters to play in the they do, which I think would be amazing. That's the dream. Very I came up to the theater, theater, so the idea of being a part of a repertoire Exactly. Where you get to, you know, I've played this uh, utter sweetheart, this nurturing, you know, young wife. But I'd love to see you as the calculating villainess. Yes! Yeah. Uh, just to go quote her on this, please. <laughs> and then make her sign it. And